Hey guys, I'm back in Bangkok today. I've come down here to Nana BTS to get a custom suit made. I wanted to walk you guys through the whole process, show you costs and how the whole thing works. Let's go. Hey, I was emailing with Mana. Yeah, Mana, yes sir. How you doing? Good, nice to meet you. My nice to meet Mana. you. So I'm attending a wedding in France in a couple of months and that's why I need a new suit. It needs to be black and I probably need a shirt or two as well. We have suits that range anywhere from 9,000 baht all the way to 20,000 baht and it clearly just depends on the fabric quality you pick. Okay. So we've got lower wool blends in the 9,000 range going all the way up to 100% wool in the 20,000 range. We've got that in between at 15,000 baht as well. How often are you going to use this? Not that often. I want something that looks nice. I've definitely long lasting had some cheap Shanghai suits in the past that I threw away after six months. So <laughs> yeah. definitely want something that um, looks pretty decent. Okay, so we'll start with the black and the blend. The good thing about anything with a little bit of polyester is you don't ever have to worry about wrinkles. It's a really, really, really lightweight fabric. Like, I don't know how to tell you this. If you're happy with this much, I think it's enough. You don't always have to overspend your budget. Uh -huh. So some people come in and they're like, yeah, but I want the best, but I wasn't looking to pay the best. You don't have to. And that's what we offer here. Such a wide range of fabrics that you can get what you want in all three ranges. Cool. And where does this come from? These are Chinese mill. Don't believe anything it says over here. You okay. could say anything you want over here. <laughs> I could show you a completely polyester fabric that says wool and cashmere. This is the 15,000. This is the 15, okay, yep. cool. I'll show you the 9,000 so you can feel the difference and see. When you have them side by side, you can then kind of tell the difference. Feels pretty good. Mm -hmm. But when you've had a comparison with one better, then you can feel that difference in the fabric right away. Yeah, it definitely feels thicker. Correct. For and then sure. if I show you the 100% wool, all of a sudden you'd be like, whoa, well, this isn't so thin after all. Yeah, of course. But that's how it works, right? You don't know what the better one is until you feel it. And then all of a sudden it's like, well, that felt good just now, but this feels a little bit better. I wouldn't say this feels thinner, but it does feel like softer. Correct. It's supposed to feel finer. That's the key element of it. So if you can feel the difference in your finger, that's what it's supposed to be. Anything with polyester is definitely going to be a little bit hotter on your skin. Anything that has less polyester or little polyester or no polyester is going to be cool on your skin. If you don't wear it often, I think the blends are good enough. If you want to go for kind of the nicest one we have will be here without going into the Italian ranges, then I think this is good enough. That's all Italian fabric. And Correct. what's so what's that price point? So it's at, at 35,000 going all the way up to 100,000 baht. But then if you go in the premium ranges, I can get it done in a couple of days because I'd have to buy the fabric as pieces. Black is black. So yeah. if you wore the suit, anyone seeing you in it, it's not going to really tell the difference. Yeah, it's about how well the suit is cut. That's the key thing. When you say someone's fashionable, it's usually not about the fabric they wear. It's about how it looks on them. Cool, yeah, I think I wanna go with this one. Just the blend is okay, right? Yeah. Awesome. Did you wanna do a shirt or two as well, or you're good on shirts? Yeah, probably just a solid white would be good. 1,550 baht for the cotton blends. And then we've got the 100% cottons. These are 2,200 baht a shirt. Obviously these wrinkle a little bit less, these wrinkle a little bit more. Yeah. But again, the principles are the same. Anything with polyester is going to be hotter in your skin. Anything that's full cotton is going to be a lot more breathable. Full cotton. Correct. Just a solid white shirt. Yeah, it's got a little sheen to it. That's nice. I might want something a little more matte. Matte enough or even more so? Because up against it, then you can see the difference that one is matte and one is not. Okay, so go with that one. How many buttons on the jacket? Two. Single or side vents on the jacket? Yeah, double side vents, yeah. A jacket usually comes with three pockets. You've got that one at the top, you've got two down here. You can also add a ticket pocket if you want. I think I like the ticket pocket. And then do you ever use the pocket? If you don't, they look nicer to not have a flap and also sewn shut, not slapel. The peak is the one that goes all the way up. So, yeah, not the po not yep. the big pointy one. Yep. In terms of the buttons on the jacket, so this is actually a true sign of a custom made suit when it is functional. Yeah, I think I'd like to do that. There are four things that we do charge extra for. If you wanted to top up and do a custom lining, these are a thousand baht extra, and I can show you the choices we have. Initials, phone number, Instagram account, anything you want to do <laughs> inside the YouTube channel, that's 500 baht on top. 
So this is 300 baht if you wanted to add a pocket square to match up to the lining over here. And the last and final option are the buttons. Probably custom lining okay. and a matching pocket square. Okay. I definitely like to take a look at the buttons okay. as well. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll have you come in for your first fitting. A couple of days after that, we'll have you come in for a second fitting. At that time, it might be complete in terms of like, oh, I love everything. We don't have to fix any details. Yeah. If at that time we go home, oh, there's still a few things we want to tweak. We'll then have it fixed again and then you can pick it up. Check out all these linings. There's some pretty awesome ones here. Hunting one, I guess. <laughs> Too. Oh, we got America. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, USA. Too. USA. Outer Space Cat Meme 1. Jungle Safari. That's kind of cool. Oh, uh, no. Godfather. <laughs> It's all possible. And these are all the same fabric, basically? They're all the same fabric, all the same price. Okay. Oh, man. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Did I see Flamingo in there? Yeah. Uh oh All right. I'm going to go with my first intuition. African Safari, I guess. Although... <laughs> you got some pineapples there, so... It is. It pineapples and uh, Birds of Paradise. Buttons. Our standard black over here, right? The SB9. We've got the J9 over here. These are also plastic. So we've got Mother of Pearl buttons over here. And we've got horn buttons over here. 32, number 2. And number 12. Definitely not 12. Yeah, I think go with that one. HB2. Trousers. No cuffs at the bottom. Definitely no cuffs, yeah. No cuffs, no pleats. A little tapered, a little on the slim fit side. Yeah, two front pockets and two back pockets. So the pockets are like this. Uh, some people keep a lot of coins, so we can make a little coin pocket right there so your coins don't hit your phone. And then we have special pockets inside here if you want to hide anything, so. Different sort of collars you can build. French or a point collar, perfect for a tie, a skinny one at that. The Italian is a medium width, wear a tie or choose not to have one. If you always wear a tie with the double Windsor, so a big knot. Or you want to do the hidden buttons, the button downs, the wing tips, the mandarin collar, we can do it all. <laughs> wow. So let me see Italian again. So that's like, yeah, that's already quite wide for yep. me. So Italian then. Collar stay built in like mine, or do you want it removable? Uh, built is fine. Cufflinks or buttons on the cuff? Buttons. Single button or two buttons horizontal or two buttons vertical? A single button. Pockets or no pockets on the shirt? Pocket. And what do you put inside? Nothing. Why do you need to have a pocket? <laughs> I don't know. I like When I wear it without a jacket, I just like the look a little bit more, okay. I think. Okay. As long as you like it, because sometimes when I ask someone back, they're like, well, that's true. I never put anything inside. I've never even yeah. seen the look of it. So. And I will sometimes slip a Metro card in there. The front of the shirt, you have three options. Hide the buttons all together. Plack it. So there is no third piece here. It's one piece on the left, one piece on the right button holes down the middle. Yours, on the other hand, is one piece on the left, one piece on the right, and a third piece of fabric running down the front. Yours is the box, mine is the French. I think I prefer the box. If you wanted to add initials, these are 200 baht extra per shirt. I've noticed your body already. We're actually gonna build it with darts for you. Okay. This way you don't have any excess down the back. So it's gonna be like mine where you have these two little pieces just shipping your back over there. It's a white shirt, so I'm gonna assume it is gonna be tucked in. Okay. And, I, and I'm asking for two reasons. One is the length, so it goes shorter if it's in, uh, tucked out. Or two, the bottom over here. So this shirt here can can be worn untucked because it's not too long. And I still do the curve at the bottom, but it's not ideal because an untucked shirt should actually be that sort of length. I would do the round, but I will build the shirt on the longer side first. When you come in for the fitting, if it's too long, we can shorten it up for you. Okay. All right, so now it's time to measure. That's right. All right. Do you find it useful when people bring in like reference clothes? 100%. Or is it 100%. So it does help skip a step sometimes. Yeah. So like your trousers would be perfect from day one because we know what you like. Arms down. We can also just kind of take photos of your build and it helps our cutters when we cut the jacket. Is that okay if I take three yeah, photos sure. of you? So that's why these photos are important because I see you and my cutter doesn't see you. So these photos help him visualize who you are from these dimensions too. All right, so I've gotten all measured up now and it's time to see what the cost is. 19,500 baht. We take a deposit of 12,000 first. The final balance of 7,005 we take at the very end when you are walking out the door with the suit in the hand. You can pay by card or by cash. Thank you very much. I'll see you for the next appointment. Yes. 
Hey guys, it's been a little over a week and I am back at the tailors for my first fitting. Hey guys. We got your shirt and pants ready for you in there. Looks good. Poof. Here we go. Got the shirt on and got the pants on. Anything you don't know about the process, just tell me. I'll kind of walk you through it anyways, but in case there's things you're like, ah, what's this, what's that? We spoke about this earlier about full half canvas. Yeah. So this is canvassing that we do, half canvas, into the lapel as well. We started the jacket at a first fitting, so this allows you flexibility to move the jacket in terms of length up and down. Right now, we're just putting where the button will be. Anything strikes you different or things you like or don't like at the start yet? Uh, this is an interesting angle. Is that how that's going to be? Yeah, it's a slight angle at the bottom over here, and it'll curve out. If you'd like it more curved, we can have it done. If you'd like it less curved, we also leave the fabric inside to have it less curved for you. I would not do it straight, because straight is just a double-breasted jacket. The length on the jacket, too long, too short, or just nice? Maybe shorter, just a touch. Should I show you what shorter feels like on one side? Is there any rule of thumb for that? If you ask someone who's 60 years old and up, they'll even tell you, they can't grab the jacket, something's off. If you have a 20 year old guy come in, they're gonna say, well, I want it like just below the, my pants. Yeah. And so there is no fixed rule of thumb per se. Some people say there is, but to me, everyone's choice and preference is a little different on this. Yeah, I think and this you, one's feeling more... More like what you want, right? Yeah. The only thing I would recommend is that we want to make sure that the length of the jacket here actually stays a little bit longer than the length of the sleeve of your jacket, which at this point, you're okay. I'm just going to take some photos myself. Sleeve length all good for you? Is it crazy to make it slightly shorter or...? I wouldn't want to go any shorter than this, but again, once it's done and if you say, let's go a little bit shorter, yeah. you can still do that. These are going to go shorter and longer. Yeah. Correct. I've taken it in just a tiny bit more than what we had made it for you over here. It feels sort of nice, actually. So I could pinch it in just a, a tiny, tiny bit more in the waist if you want. Yeah, I think that's probably it's good. Okay. Are you happy with a two-button stance like this? Would you want me to do it a little bit higher? Would you want to go a little bit lower? My favorite coat is slightly higher than this. I could bring it up to so where it is now. Bring it up so it's right there. All right, so this is the actual canvas itself, right. right? And then we've got the marks down here for the buttons and for where the arm needs to end up over here, as well as the length of the coat. Yeah. This is the sleeve length, so we're showing about a half inch of cuff at the moment. So there's no lining yet, and the, the lapel is going to be added. And then, yeah, do you have pictures of this just so I can sort yes. of see? Yeah, of course. Some are even further angled out than what we did for you. This one here is probably a little bit straighter when done up. Many different jackets, so you can see all of them. They're cut almost the same all the time. But when you wear a two-button suit, you never button the second one over here. And this is what I said, double-breasted being straight. Yeah, so it's not gonna end up at like this sharp corner like this. No. So a gradual curve all the way. I think I do like a little bit more, more of a curve, yeah. Okay. Not well yet, just a little bit more curved. It's a lot of pins, eh guys? <laughs> I think this is feeling about right as far as the... The weight. Don't forget, you don't have the lining yet. Yeah. So it's gonna make it just a tad tighter than this. Okay. Also, when you come in for the second fitting, if you need it to go tighter, it can be done. It's much harder to go looser <laughs> and longer than it is to go tighter and shorter. We want to move on to the trousers now. Waistline, are you happy where this is? Quite good. But I'm not talking about the actual like tight or loose, but the spot. Mm, yeah. yeah. Um, no, I think the spot's about right. Below my belly, above my hips. Yep. Is it too loose or too tight or just nice? Uh, I'd say it's just about right because if I want to tighten up a tad, I'd put a belt. All right, so we can start here. Again, on the last day, if you fluctuate it a little bit, it's easy to take in and take out as well. Okay. For me, as a modern look, I think that's a good length. I should have brought dress shoes. I'll bring dress shoes next time. So this is what I call a half break. So you have, this is a half break. See? That's yeah. a half break. If you had no break, then it is like that. If you have a full break, then you have a full kind of fold down the bottom of the pants. Yeah, the only question is whether I, I want to just go no break or not, because I do like that sort of clean look. Are you going to wear loafers or dress shoes? Dress shoes. Once you bring the dress shoes next week, once you put it on, if you feel like it's too long, taking it up is very easy. So of all these details though, the length of the pants is probably the easiest thing that, I mean, you can change. Aside from that, got some nice details here. That all feels pretty normal and, and two pockets on the back, yep, right? That's right. And 
and then I'd like you to sit down in the trousers and see how you feel. Is it too tight, too loose, or just nice? Definitely not too loose. You got definitely a little bit of, you know, tightness through here. Look what happens when you sit down on the leg. You can see the length is significantly higher now that I'm seated. Normally you'd have real socks, but yeah, it's definitely something to keep in mind. Like the fit on the lower half of the leg is, is good. But up here, I think it's, I wouldn't want it like that much looser. Let's put it that way. Do you actually feel tight when you sit down? There's a difference between looking at it and looking at it and think it's tight versus you actually feel tight. Because if you don't feel tight, why are we going looser? Yeah, it doesn't really feel tight. Feeling like a bulge in here a little bit, but you know, that's, no one's gonna see that, I guess. <laughs> All right, looks good. We wanna talk about the shirt too now. Okay, Again, so right here. One thing you must know on the collar of the shirt, every collar on every shirt will shrink a quarter to a half inch, depending on how you wash your shirts. Okay. So we always start, if you notice, a little bit looser to accommodate that. I mean, it's definitely not too tight. So you, I can definitely get a couple of fingers in yep. here. Since I don't wear a suit to work every day, this is more just for social events, and I wouldn't normally wear a tie anyways. I'm not super concerned about this. Probably have it looser rather than tight. So sleeve then, if you wanted to, can be a hair shorter. Uh -huh. Right now, this is where it ends. If you see, that's actually where it ends when it's unbuttoned. Yeah. I can bring it up a half inch for you, so it ends right there. And then when you wear the shirt, you have no break on the shirt at all. But then we don't have to redo the jacket part? Not at all, because okay. what's happening is the shirt is not going past this, because the cuff of the shirt is the right size. Okay. It's only when I open up the cuff of that side, then you see that the cuff went past the shirt over there. Do you want me to make it any smaller? Definitely going in a little bit would be over here, right? Would be good, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna make it smaller all the way through here. So from the armpit down to just above the waistline. I'm not sure I wanna do that because if you sit down and I make it small over here, what you're gonna have is this happen. Okay. So that's what I don't wanna do. But okay. we're taking the top half for you because it's a little bit loose at the moment. Now we can untuck it. So this yeah. is a shirt you said you wanted to do in and out. For pretty much all my shirts, yeah. I'll probably wear them out more than in. Okay. So I sort of want to have them as short as possible where yeah. I could still, still tuck occasionally tuck it in. Okay. So this gives you the flexibility. So you can see that your trousers are here. You still have about two and a half to three inches that go over the waistband. Just keep in mind that this will be a curve. So this is actually a little bit shorter on the side than it is on the front. And does it shrink up a bit with not, the wash? Not as much as what it is here. So if there's fusing in the collar, that's what's shrinking, not oh. the actual fabric. First fitting, so far so good. I'll bring the shoes that I'd be most likely to wear. They might be like dressy boots. Okay. If it's boots though, there's a difference. Because boots wrap around you, mm -hmm. so it makes it hard for the pants to go through at the bottom. You yeah. might have to open up the width at the bottom. We'll have to see how big or small the boots are. High five, all right. All right, so that only took what, like uh, 30 minutes or something or less? Uh, that was really quick. All right, see you guys later. Uh, all right, see ya. Hey guys, what's up? All right, it's been another week and I'm back to do my second fitting. Let's see how it's looking. Wow, it's a lot more advanced uh, from last time, isn't it? We should be over here for this. Okay. We tapered the jacket a little bit more. We shortened it just to be a little longer than the sleeve length over here. And we moved this up a little bit too, right? right? The length is feeling pretty good. Yep. You know, feels pretty yeah. normal. Pockets look good. I do like how the liner turned out, actually. I don't really know how the shoulder is supposed to look. Check where this is. Press across to where your shoulders are. Mm -hmm. In my opinion, they can be just a tiny bit smaller, nothing extreme, quarter of an inch on each side, just to make things perfect. So closer to that. I'd also like to fix up a few things on the front, but they're really minor details that we will go through with you. A little flatter on this side, and I may want to reduce the padding a touch. So if you don't mind, I want to take a few photos once again, so that we can see everything we want to change. And looking at the back, like, there's a slight gap between the shirt collar and the coat collar. If you wanted to make it just a tad tighter, so it just stays closer on the neck. The tightness feels good too. Cool. I think that in terms of the taper on the body, it is as tight as it can be. I don't know, maybe just like a tiny bit. Just that much. Just along the bottom part of the waist. Yeah, I mean, that doesn't feel too tight. I love how it looks in the back with this double vent. Color's good. This looks good. <clears throat> so we took in the body. We shorted the vent on the shirt. 
Oh, and we shorten the sleeve length, three things. The only issue with going tighter is this part. So, because these are not stretch shirts, when you go tight and you sit down, you have what's called a gape. If you don't mind the gape, it's okay, but if gaping bothers you, then I wouldn't go any tighter than this. Okay, so like when I go to sit Yep, when you sit down, down. See, there's no gape right now. But the minute you go any tighter, this is going to happen. Uh, I feel like it could maybe go a little bit tighter. I'm not used to having like this much sort okay. of where it gets tucked in. Okay. The disadvantage though, this shirt, it won't look nice, won't untucked anymore when we do that because you'll have a gap between the front. Because it's made to tuck inside so you don't have any excess on the sides. Yeah, I see. So if you don't mind the gap when you have it tucked out, that's okay. But if you'd like not to have the gap, you cannot go tighter and it's made for as it is. Yeah, you got a good point. So now that I have it untucked, I'm like, yeah, I probably don't want this tighter. You see what I mean, right? Yeah. So if you can accept this sort of a excess at the bottom now, or you know, the spread out at the bottom, we'll we'll do it. If you say no, it's I don't like it, I won't do it. Yeah, I feel like this tightness is good. Okay. Yeah, good. I'd rather have that than feel too like. Well, I'll see it above. We have a lot of like ruffling here. Yeah. Whereas like this is pretty flat here. Ah, okay, yeah. 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 That we will have it fixed for you as well. Tension in the stitches, basically. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Okay, cool. Because isn't that when it's like usually a sign that when they made that, it's like either pulling too tight or not right. tight enough or something it's like too that? It's too tight. Too tight. Too tight. Okay. Definitely wouldn't want it any longer than this for untucked. You can't go much shorter without it. Coming Just out on the side. Pulling itself out, right? Yep. And can you do a little bit shorter? You, you can do as, as short as you want. Right now, this is where you are. Yeah. This is the mid. I want you to do this for me. So if you did that right now, and it was tucked in, you would basically be on the last kind of an inch. If I shorted it up this exact amount, and when you did this, it would come out. Then it would pop out. Yeah. Yeah. So this is how it's an easy way to explain. Since I don't wear a suit regularly, yeah. when I do wear it, I'm usually a little more just like careful about how I'm... Okay. Like I'm not going to be like doing crazy shit in that coat, so... We'll short it up just the tiniest, tiniest amount. Yeah, I like this color a lot. It's great. Fabric's feeling good. All right, what's next? Trousers. Trousers. Length, I think you'll have to see here. So with boots, I can assure you this is too long. Yeah. With dress shoes though, this is a good length. So if you're gonna wear boots for sure, they have to be shorter, but you can't ever wear flat dress shoes with it again. Keep that in mind. Mm. It's a tough one. Yeah, because, it's a tough one. Because boots, they go up high here. So they're hitting, the pants are hitting the boots right here and causing it to bunch up. And bunching is never nice. So we want it to look like this. But if you did that on your shoes that are flat or even the sneakers, we did that look, that look too short. I could go a half inch shorter, but you'd still have a mini break with the boots. But at least you can do it for both options. that is almost perfect. So if we took it up a half inch, that solves that problem. But a half inch is not gonna solve this problem. On this side. Yeah, okay. I am pretty likely to wear boots with this or tennis shoes. <laughs> Those two would be more likely than dress shoes. Yep. A full inch just sounds like a ton to me though. And I'll show you what I mean by full inch. So when I pull it up right now, you see the break you have? This right here is a half inch. Okay. That's a full inch. I think actually a half inch is fine. I don't really mind like a small that. little bit. Waist feels pretty good, I'd say. Um, you know, I tend to like it cinch it a bit. Now that you just pulled it up, look at the length again. A half inch actually solves the problem. Look, as soon as you pulled it up, a half inch is perfect. We don't need to go any shorter than a half. All right, so I'm gonna come back in a few days uh, to hopefully see the finished result. Thanks a lot. Wednesday it is. Wednesday it is. Yes. See you then, bro. Hello. Hello. Hi, what's up, man? How you been? Good, how's the suit looking? Looking very good. We're ready to go, actually. Check out the lining again. I've seen it, but... Nice, yeah. my cheetahs, yeah. okay. So what did we do this time? We made it a little bit tighter on the waistline. We brought the shoulders in. We 
reduce the padding for you. I fixed up a few things on the back so you have very slanted shoulders. We lifted them up so we cut the top over here to get rid of the excess you had on the wings. Much less gap in the back of the collar there. Sleeves looking really good. Pockets are still feeling great. Like this, feeling pretty good. Although, I don't know, it could be my shoulder. This is feeling like I have a little less cuff than on that side. You see anything? I would check the sleeve, fold that in just a tiny bit more so we take mm -hmm. out the collar and just literally do that to it. So yeah, it interesting detail I noticed on that shirt. Yeah. The, I mean, this is designed to be able to use French uh, like cufflinks too. And I've seen shirts like this with two buttons before, but I haven't seen ones that incorporate a slit so you can still use like cufflinks if you want to. So we're fixing this, that tiny bit of space between the collar and the shirt. Quite good here, I'd say. There's just the tiniest like bit of fabric when I'm standing up straight that is uh, just breaking there. Right there. But I don't think I would want to go shorter, um, especially because I'm wearing my boots right now. So if I were to wear normal dress shoes, then there would basically be no break whatsoever. All right, so when I go sit down, they really come up quite, quite far, you know? So I, I wouldn't want to go a whole lot shorter than that. I don't think it's too long either because I don't want to have a really big break. It's like, that's like a very old sort of look. Okay, so now let's talk about this shirt. Two little stitches here are called darts. So we darted his shirt, so this way he doesn't have any excess on either sides of the shirt at all. So if you look on the side here, right, you can see, you know, a tiny bit of fabric sort of coming out where the pants are, right? Now, if I knew that I was only going to wear the shirt tucked in, I might bring it in a little bit more and I would make it longer so it stays tucked in. But because I don't wear dress clothes a lot, and I'm going to be sometimes untucking this, I'm leaving a little extra space there because, as you'll see in a minute, when I untuck this, you don't want it too tight or you feel like a, you're a hot dog. The, the meat inside a hot dog, I guess? Like, you'll see what I mean in a second here. Get that all untucked there. It looks like he improved the stitching underneath there, which had a bit of, like, wrinkling before. And now you can see it's sitting a lot more flat. I'm feeling quite good about this length. Right now it comes right about here, about mid pocket. On an untucked shirt, it should lay close to on top of each other. But be given that it is going to be tucked in as well, we tapered the hips to make it a little too tight to be worn untucked all the time. Yeah, so again, it's a little compromise that I asked for. I don't feel like this is too much of a weird gap or whatever, so I'm totally fine with that. And again, I'd rather have the versatility of being able to wear it tucked or untucked. One little small detail, if you were doing like a plaid shirt or stuff like that, you'd always want to check to make sure that the different parts of the shirt, the orientation of the fabric is all going in the right way. So this is what we're talking about, if uh, you wanted to see. So they align up on the stripes and the checks over here. The number one best way to get a good custom suit is to know something yourself. And that's why you're watching this video. If you go into a super cheap place and don't know what you want, a lot of times you're going to not end up with a good result. The way to get good results is to know what you want and to go to a place that also knows how to make a good suit and a good shirt. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with how this is looking. We're going to try out the black shirt now. Now, this one is more likely to be worn untucked with no tie, so we kept that in mind when designing it. So it's slightly looser down here on purpose so that when it is untucked, see now you notice this overlaps more on this one because there was more room left on purpose. All black. Yeah, see, right off the bat, I'm, see how the same thing with the, this cuff is yep. longer, so I don't know. We'll have it adjusted. Yeah, it's probably, it's probably just a little whatever. Do you like the left side more or the right side more? This is actually like how it should be. Okay. Aside from that, it's pretty good. So I like a quite a uh, slim fit, and part of the reason for that is sometimes, even at events, I'll be like this, I'll keep it unbuttoned. I won't always button it. And if you have it too loose, then if you walk around like this, it's gonna be really, really baggy. But with this cut, even unbuttoned is still quite slim, which is cool. And then you button, it's even better. Don't be in any ways. <laughs> <laughs> and in case I wanted to go a little more formal, I can get two fingers in there, so that's good. And it also doesn't feel too loose, so 
That's good. Yeah, quite happy. And, oh, and I forgot. It's always good just to like sit down real quick and just sort of see how you feel. The tuck is still feeling really good sitting down like this. The fit of the shirt and the jacket is still feeling good. And I gotta say, I am loving this lining. I'm glad I went with that one. All we have to do is double check the length of one sleeve and also just tighten up a tiny bit on the back of the jacket, right? Well, so then that'll take, what, just a couple days, something? Yeah, if you wanted to come back in two days, we could have it done. Or sometimes, if you had a couple of hours, as you said, we could have it done upstairs as well. Cool. Yeah, well, I'm not in a big hurry, so uh, yeah, maybe two days okay. before my trip. Hello. Anna, what's up? What do you got for me, buddy? All right, so the only thing was just the coat, right? Just up here and, and the, the sleeve, sleeve, right? So we went with more rather than less. Exactly. And now they look even... Oh, yeah, and it's even tighter in the back now. Great. So we have this little tiny extra pocket here that's nice for, I don't know, uh, what do people use this for, actually? So in the past, it was called, it is still called ticket pocket, but back in the days, obviously, train tickets. That's what it was called. <laughs> okay. Yes. So my train ticket pocket, obviously, I'm not going to be using that too much. So these guys have on-site alterations. I'm just going to have them seal that pocket up. It'll just help it stay more flat and smooth. Let's do it real quick. Yeah, just a few minutes. Let's go have a look at their little workshop here. So the four guys up here that can, you know, do some things in-house without having to come back another day. He just went ahead and bust this thing right open. Look at this. Yeah. That was quick. Let's try this out. They're up. In just like three minutes there, they were able to fix uh, that pocket. So now, of course, the other benefit of a custom tailored suit like this, if there are little nitpicks that I want to come back a month from now, they can probably help me out as well. For now, I'm really happy. We're going to stick with this. We'll fold it up for you so it's nice and easy for travel as well. So we got our suit and trousers. And we have two shirts over here, so the white and the black. All right. Awesome. Thank you, sir. That means it's time for the final payment. Let's head downstairs. This is all the fittings and all the changes we did. So if you ever need another shirt or trousers or jacket, you don't necessarily have to be here to do it. Just order online. Everything red are things that will change over the course of time. Pleasure to meet you. Guys. Thank you. Thank you.